Hello and welcome to After Sun Review and this time I'm gonna review two of very interesting new products from Kinera. First one is the modular cable from Kinera. This is the Kinera Grammar and also Kinera Hodur. Just like usual, Kinera is always using Norse mythological name for its products. First of all, this is the Kinera Grammar cable that costs around $49 and the name Grammar is actually a sword that is used by Sigurd or maybe you could also known as Siegfried yeah maybe some people will more uh, will be more familiar with that kind of name it's a legendary sword that is used to slay dragon while this one Hodur not from the Game of Thrones is a name of an actually a blind night god that kill that is used by Loki to kill Baldur, the golden son of Odin. So that's quite interesting with the name. But enough with the trivia. This modular cable from Kinera, the Kinera Grammar, is cost around $49. And I believe this is the first one first cable to be able to use a balance cable, but also with a mic. A boom mic like this this is maybe for gaming products and also the holder costs around 299 dollars yeah and it's using tri configuration one dynamic driver one balancer mature and one magnetostatic driver even though it's it is written as in its uh, product but it's definitely magnetostatic so just like usual i will break down this review from the build fit frequency response and then sound quality and also comparison for the Trinera grammar here i'm using the idun gold for the im this is a detachable one so yeah it's a two pin cable here that the right side has this mic that is also detachable using somehow looks like an mmcx connector so just like this when you want to use the mic just put it like this and it's very simple and also the cable itself feels a little bit rubbery but thankfully it's quite flexible and I find it to be non microphonics and also here's the interesting thing also the jack is detachable so you could change this 3.5 single-ended cable with mic here with balanced cable 4.4 but yeah of course when you're using balance of course this is for uh, the ap so you cannot use the mic the mic is using this 3.5 millimeters and i will tell you how is the sound quality here i'm still speaking through my usual mic let me change it with this kinera grammar so you could hear the difference now here you go let me tell you though even though it feels quite good in my head but i cannot help but feels there's a little bit of weight difference between the left and right of course this part is more heavy but that's just a simple thing and it's not a really problem when you have a very good fit i am such as kinera idun that i'm using here and maybe my only critic is about when you plug out the boom mic, the MMCX part is actually exposed. So it might get some debris or dust that might be a little bit problematic in the future. But other than that, I think that it's the first time I know that there's such a cable with mic and also with balance cable. While the Kinera Hodur is simply a really good i am in terms of build quality i believe because it's all made of metal it's not really big or not small either but this part all is made of metal and it's detachable using two pin connectors and the cable itself feels not really uh flexible but for me it's just enough in quality and it's always a good thing to know that your the jack part is removable so you could change the jack part into the 4.4 or the 3.5 single-ended 
and the good thing also here that it's also compatible with the Kinera Grammar Chuck. The ergonomics for the holder is actually not really my preference let me tell you because this part somehow is really long and I should say I have small Asian ears so yeah it, it will be very subjective from ears to ears but I'm just telling you what I'm feeling. This part feels really long that sometimes when I'm using mask in the public it feels like it, yeah it's really small space in here and my ears is pushed because of how long the body is. I would say that the sound quality of the Skinera holder is excellent with one weakness. Let's take a look at the frequency response here and it shows that the most elevation is going on with that mid bass and also it has adequate pin again and after that some treble peaks that is actually quite extended towards 10k and after that it's rolled off. So for the most part I would say that this IM is a mild V-shaped balance sounding with weakness. For me the most noticeable one is on the mid bass because of how big the mid bass is it somehow f gives this kind of fog to the overall presentation of the sound it sometimes bleed into the mid range area making the whole sounds kind of congested in terms of bass alone i would say it's actually punchy and it's vocus but it lacks tightness and it lacks speed and yet again for me it's the main weakness of this IM because when I have tried using EQ to them, just minus run two decibel, it helps opens up the sound and I could hear the sub bass better. So it's just for me, it's just a uh, only really that's the only weakness that I found in this IM because after that the mid range in terms of balance and also timbre, even though it's you only using a single dynamic, a single sorry, a single balance armature. But for me, the in terms of balancing the male and female vocal, it's just excellent. I could hear no sibilance or shoutiness here. And then the piano and guitar sounds natural. And after that, the treble is, I should say, it's a little bit uh, tips dependent here. Because when I'm trying some tips, it could be a really splashy. But here, I'm using final type E ear tips for from the Kinera itself. For me, it sounds correct. It doesn't sound overly harsh and sibilant. It's just quiet, uh, energetic for a lot of music, but without splashiness, metallicness, or anything strange with that. Even though it's using magnetostatic, so even though they are, it's using three different type of drivers. But for me, in terms of coherency, it's actually quite good, and it can be uh, sometimes a little bit tip and fit dependent, of course. But again, for me, the main problem with me is about that mid bass thickness mid bass volume that is somehow for me simply too much in here and it fogs up the sound quality overall of this uh, actually a uh, good I am and after that the technicality is again a little bit uh, congested because of that mid bass but after only just EQ them a little bit on the mid bass only around 2 decibel for me it's just really good in terms of resolution and detail i could hear a lot of details coming from orchestral music like from hans zimmer and also from two steps from hell there's a lot of details and separation that going on with this im maybe it lacks a little bit of a sound stage width so it doesn't really sound as wide as i'd like to see but uh, other than that i would say just if i take care a little bit of that mid bassiness for me it's on the same level as this planar timeless now let's talk of because of i say timeless before i need to compare them because for me at 300 dollar price point the benchmark are the timeless and also the moon drop blessing too let's talk about how is it compared to the timeless first in terms of frequency alone i would say that the timeless even though it's only using a single planar in terms of frequency range, frequency completeness, I hear more sub bass and also more airy treble in this timeless. But that being said, I feel that timeless is somehow uh, more dreaded with this planar timbre going on with this. I am that somehow sounds quite a bit, little bit unnatural sometimes, just sometimes for instrumental music and sometimes vocal also. 
But in this Kira Hodor, for me, even though it's a little bit more congested because of the frequency and completeness compared to the timeless, but in terms of timber, it's a little bit better for me, even though they are using three kinds of driver. And in terms of detail and separation resolution, they can on be on the same level if I just EQ'd it a bit. And I actually, if you ask me, I personally prefer this Kinera Hodor because of its fit and also simply because of isolation that I find to be better in this Hodor. And compared to the another benchmark, the Moondrop Blessing to the Amazing Moondrop Blessing to if we are talking about it objectively about the frequency alone, the Moondrop Blessing to is simply the more neutral one, is the more correct one to be uh, said. But in terms of fun, in terms of dynamics, and in terms of enjoyment itself, I would say that it's funny because I actually prefer the holder if if I turn down that mid piece. Really, that mid piece is the only thing that bugs me, and sometimes it's quite a lot. But other than that, for me, I really like this Kindra holder somehow. It's it's durable. At least the fit is quite good, it's not ideal. And also the level of details and separation is quite good, even though it's using three types of driver, I find this quite coherent with correct ear tips and correct fit. And it has this good dynamics that I don't really find in the blessing too. I find that the blessing talk can be sounds too flat. It doesn't really con gives you the emotion of the music, but here I get that. and. I sometimes do hear some uh, unnaturalness coming from the timeless. So in terms of using them daily, sometimes I'm using holder, sometimes I'm using timeless. It just uh, depends on my mood. But these days, because of the fit, of the, simply because of the fit, I actually prefer this holder better. So yeah, objectively saying, it is simply not the best. There are some IMs that is better out there with better uh, frequency overall. But in terms of subjectiveness, I cannot lie that I really like this IM because for daily needs for when I'm like walking, it just have good enough of pace, good enough of clarity, good enough of everything. And I know this is a durable IM. So I think that's all I could say about this IM. Objectively, might not be the best, but subjectively, somehow I'm really liking this. I hope you enjoy this video and review. I hope you understand what I am meaning too. So, if you have any question, please write down in the comments below. And see you next time. Bye bye.